What's up guys, Dots Gaming here, and today I will be filling you all in on everything we know so far about The Elder Scrolls Online's newest adventure, Morrowind, coming June 6th, 2017. With the new expansion coming out, we are traveling back to Vardenfell, which was the primary setting of The Elder Scrolls 3 video game and will be the biggest landmass added to ESO to date for roughly 30 hours of new questing content. In addition to this, we are getting a new class introduced into the game, the Warden. We are also going to see a new trial, a PvP arena, and much more. So the adventure we are taking part on, like I said, Vardenfell, and is set 700 years before the events of Elder Scrolls 3. But players will get the nostalgic experience of going back to familiar locations that they saw in the previous game with the goal of solving Vivek's mystery. And for those of you who did not play Elder Scrolls 3, Vivek is one of the three immortal god kings of Morrowind and we will be helping him solve his mystery. In terms of the new class, what we know about the Warden so far is that there has three skill trees like all the other classes and they is Ice, Nature, and Animal Companions. It's rumored that the ultimate of the Animal Companion skill line will be a permanent bear pet, so we have that to go on so far for the new class. When it comes to actually purchasing Morrowind, those players who already own the game could upgrade their current account to access the new content for roughly 40 US dollars. To me, that's a little expensive and I would have expected $30 for an upgrade, but I digress. New players can get the base game and Morrowind for 60 US dollars. The collector's edition is $100 and includes the Dwarven Colossus statue, Naryu's journal, a map of Morrowind, and an exclusive game case. The digital collector's edition is also $100 and includes a collector's edition gray bear when you play as the Warden, an armored warhorse mount, a Dwarven spider pet, Moragtong armor converter, and exclusive character emotes. Pre-ordering any tiers of the game, though, also will give you an exclusive Warden costume, a Dwarven War Dog, treasure maps, a Dwarven Crown Crate, and experience scrolls. So, the other content besides the continent of Ardenfell that we are going to have access to, or the island of Ardenfell, excuse me, that we're going to have access to is the new trial in the Telvani Tower of Telfir, where you will fight with your friends through the Halls of Fabrication and explore the Clockwork City in a 12-player trial. Or, if you're like me and PvP is more your speed, you can go to the Ashlands and fight in a 4v4 battle in an arena-type environment with various game types across three separate maps. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up if you did, please subscribe and comment below about what you're most excited for with Morrowind. I know for me it's the introduction of PvP Arena. Now it's still early, the game expansion was really just announced so we don't have too too much to go on but in the upcoming months Zenimax and Bethesda will be updating us as changes come our way so I will keep you guys informed on what's going on. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, please subscribe if you're not already, I'm Dots Gaming and I'll see you next time. Have a good day guys.